Hey, and welcome back to another Ball Carter video. We are starting up the second half of the 2023 Tops Update Blaster Box case. So we're going with the back 20 now. Uh, front 20, first 20 boxes, holy cow. If that was just the first half, I'm really curious to see what's in the second half. A um, lot of great stuff. Oh my gosh, the number of parallels, the number of numbered parallels in that first half, just amazing. Um, we hit some big names, big name parallels, which was awesome. Uh, the back half, what I'm looking for is, can we hit a couple autographs? Because I kind of, I'm predicting three or four autographs in a case, maybe, maybe three. Uh, so we're kind of on the under on that one right now, but maybe hit something big. <clears throat> hit something big for autographs. That would be awesome. So this would be box number 21, second 20 of the case. Let's get it started. Pump for this. <clears throat> Actually, what I'm what I want to hit the most is I want to I want to hit one of these uh, Halloween ones. Hit hit a big one of those maybe. Also, I would say as a Yankee fan, I've hit I've hit a lot of good Yankee cards in this break, and that's been a lot of fun. I usually don't have a lot of good luck with. Uh, with the Yankee cards. I usually hit a lot of other teams, but <clears throat> never the never the players in the team that I want. Um, yeah, I usually have to, to get the players I want, I usually have to just buy them as singles, but all right, first pack here. Well, let's kind of skip through the base. All right, we got a uh, action stars number, ooh. To 75, what is this? What is this? Paul Goldschmidt. To 75, like what? I don't know what color is that, like blue maybe? It looks the same. <laughs> I mean, it, there's not a huge difference there, but it is numbered to 75. That's awesome. Wow, I, I, I couldn't tell you what color that is I mean it's such a straight-up refractor that you know who knows oh definitely man first pack uh, and the box is the last opening that I did <clears throat> it was the first pack that I think I hit both the biggest cards in the, the break I think it was a four box break but well wow, hey I'll take that again wasn't expecting that that's what I like about this set you just don't know you don't know what you're gonna hit all right, we got a Topps Chrome, okay. Jordan Walker, okay. We haven't hit a lot of Jordan Walker lately. Oh, and we have a Black Gold. I don't think it's numbered. Corbin Carroll Black Gold, there you go. I wish that one was the, the, the Volpe that we pulled. Wow, nice card. And then we got more here. I'm guessing it's an All-Star card, yeah. There we go, beautiful card. That's the guy you want to hit a black gold in. <clears throat> that is the guy. Um, yeah, it's got one white corner. Maybe you can grade it for a PSA nine. It'd look really good in a in a slab. But all right, the rest of the cards we do have a Halloween black and orange, Tyler Wade. All right. First two packs, pretty good. Oh yeah, I forgot about this Jordan Walker. I'd say Jordan Walker is one of the rookies we haven't really uh, hit much of. Like, I've been going through a lot of the base cards and that might be one of the rookies we have the least amount of just regular base. So I thought that was interesting. All right, I don't know if we have anything in this one. How do you say that name, Descalfany? <laughs> Discolfany. Dis yeah. That one's tricky. <clears throat> I feel like I can pronounce names better when I'm not uh <laughs> not not doing videos, not under pressure. Um oh, let's flip this over here. We got a blue border coming up. Oh, we got Blake Sable. Catcher for the Giants. Rookie, we'll take it. Dylan Cease and 
A Juan Yepes. Hey, hey, we got a pumpkin. Got a pumpkin. What kind of season do you have? I didn't follow the Cardinals very much. I'm more of a Cubs fan, but <clears throat> um, not sure. I thought he was a pretty good rookie. Not sure how I did this year. Just didn't follow the Cardinals at all. Mainly just followed Jordan Walker. Uh, all right, let's see what we got. I feel like every time you just pull an Orioles card, you oh, it's Adley Rushman. It's not. <laughs> or Gunnar Henderson. You hope it is. Noronado All Star Logan O'Happy. All right, moving on. See if we can get any more parallels here. Looks like maybe we got an insert. Oh. Hobie Harris. What? Hobie Harris. Do not know that name. All right. Oh, that was like a Michael Harris there for a second. Rainbow foil. We got Jackie and Mookie. Nice. Shane Bieber and Kristen Pasha. Another, another jack-o'-lantern. Nice. We're hitting those. <clears throat> Maybe this last pack will get a, uh, a ghost. Or the, the witches. I want to see one with the witches. All right. We got anything in this one? Volpe. Okay. All right. Number 75. Not bad. A couple good rookie inserts. We'll take it. Let's go inside. All right. I don't know. As I, uh, as I narrow down the uh, the boxes here, my background's going to go. That's the last 20 boxes right here is this uh, little backdrop. Maybe I should decorate them with all the hits we've had in this case. It's been amazing. All right. Oh, oh backwards card. Two backwards cards. Okay. Let's check out this first one. Christian Vasquez. That's got to be a rainbow foil. And then... It's going to be a gold, I bet. No, 76. That's uh, Independence Day. G-Man Choi. Yes. Independence Day. There you go. I like G-Man Choi. Uh, played for the Rays there for a while. Uh, really good player. Kind of underrated. Um, I think he's had a couple bad seasons, though. Cooper Hummel. Orange and black. There we go. Another Independence Day. That's... That's two Independence Days in the case so far. I don't think the odds let you get two, does it? I'd have to look at that. But I'll take it, yeah. Although I like the uh, Independence Day we got uh, a few videos ago, though. A lot better. Way better. If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. Mike Trout. There you go. Rainy Rose Arena. Pulled his home field advantage card. That was awesome. First home, home field advantage card I've ever pulled. All right. What do we got here? Anything? Oh, we got action stars. Yeah, action stars. Maybe this one's numbered again. Probably not, but you never know. Boba Shet. I mean, doesn't that look like the other one? <laughs> I got to figure out why that one was, what was why it was numbered. Christopher Morrell, rookie. There we go, rookie debut. That's that's a good rookie to get right there. That is a good rookie. I'll sleeve that one up. It's a good parallel. All right. I mean, we got an Independence Day, a good rookie parallel. So far, so good. It's a pretty good ad there, right there. Get a parallel of that card, that'd be pretty good. All right, we got a Volpe. Low. And James Outman. All right. Hmm. 
Next up. Sometimes the pack feels a little thicker, like maybe it has an extra card in or something, maybe, but Marcus Simeon and Orange. Ooh, I flipped it the right way. Miracle. Miracle. Doesn't mean I know I'm going to do it the same again, but. Oh, another rookie we haven't hit much of is uh, Matt McLean, true rookie. Uh, we've hit a lot of good debut cards, but not a lot of the true rookies. Matt McLean's one of them. This guy, this guy's one of them. He's good. But Matt McLean, and then not a lot of Bobby Miller either. Those are two guys you look for in the set. All right. What do we got this one? Maybe this, ooh, okay, this is a good one. All right, we got Topps Chrome. Carlos Rodon was absolutely terrible for the Yankees this year. Ooh, Ronald Cunha laid out. That's a good one because these are rare cards. Like, I think we've had five so far in the case. And Aaron Hicks. There, good old Aaron Hicks. All right. All right, we got some good cards. That Acuna, I like that laid out. Independence Day. Morel, Parallel. Not a bad box. And that might be the weakest box I've opened in the last two videos, or last three videos, actually. If that's the weakest box, I'll take it. Oh, smashed in there. I hope that didn't affect any of the cards. Nah, I think it's fine. All right, we're gonna. I think we're just gonna do three packs tonight. Three packs. Let's see what we can get. Still, still waiting on another auto here. Still waiting on another auto. Francisco Alvarez. I wonder how he's going to do next year. Lots of potential. All right, nothing there. Yeah, I was getting used to having some big stuff in the first pack. A little disappointing when you don't. Okay. We got a blue border. Ooh, rookie. Rookie. Mm, Matt Mervis. There you go. Man, I have hit. So many parallels of this guy. <laughs> so many parallels. I'll get this guy in my sleeve. I like that as a color match, too. And then we got Brent Doyle. Okay. That's a good rookie. Not a bad rookie to get there. All right, Mervis. These are other ones that are hard to grade. This one's not terrible. Not a terrible uh, parallel. It's a good color match, though. If you're a Cubs fan... That looks nice. All right, next up. I'm trying to do the whole, if I if I say it, it'll happen, so autograph. Usually works out pretty well. We got a judge there. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Your judge. And all-star card. Yeah. All-star. Logan O'Hoppy. I think I have about 10 of every player in the MLB stars, stars of the MLB. I remember when they first came out, first started doing them, people were, people collected them. And then after about the second or third set that had them, <laughs> that kind of, kind of trailed off a little bit. All right. Backwards card. Are we numbered? No, 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 we're so rainbow foil. Hey, Oscar Hernandez, Rainbow Foil. I don't think I've hit any big Rainbow Foils yet. Oh, Corbin Carroll. Now, that should have been the number 75 card. Let's see what this is first. Nice. Corbin Carroll. Man, doing pretty well with that. Rookie card. Nice card. Get that sleeved up. I'm still baffled on the difference in color. I don't even... Guys, they look the same. Maybe it's a black? I don't know. All right, we got three packs left. Still going autograph here. Come on. Come on. I haven't really pulled many relics either. One relic. I just feel like they don't do uh, relics as much anymore. Volpe. 
two packs. Oh, we got a jack o' lantern on the back. Scroll that a little bit. At least we know it's a good one, though. Oh. Backwards card. Ooh, this is going to be blue bordered Vince Velasquez. All star card next. There you go. I like these nice cards here. And then Jack Lantern. Sir Anthony Dominguez. Sir Anthony. What a name. Sir Anthony Dominguez. I uh, love those Halloween cards, though. All right, let's leave this guy up. Not a lot of massive hits, but definitely a lot of good hits. I guess we did get a couple of really good numbered ones, just not nothing phenomenal as far as what you're looking for. All right, I don't think we're getting anything in this one. Julio, Gold Cup. Do have a blue bordered one of these, which is cool. Save that in the good pile there. All right. Um, where are we at? Let's let's do another box. <laughs> we're doing another box. I lied. Um, I'm at 16 minutes. Try to keep these things around 20. I just, I just, I want to hit an autograph tonight. Really bad. I want to hit an autograph. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Fingers crossed on an auto. Give me like a red parallel autograph. And, oh. Two ninety or seven ninety. Oh, so this is a purple seven ninety nine Rangers. Jacob DeGrow, okay. Something for a Josh Young. That would have been kind of cool. There we go. Jacob DeGrom. I need some more sleeves. I wasn't expecting to do more than this. Okay. Put that over by the Corbin Carroll out here. I got so many uh, on the stand right now. They're off the screen. I guess what I love about this is every blaster box. I'm doing a, I'm doing at least one or two, or at least two slow rolls. Uh, what? Why is that one backwards? Oh, rainbow foil. Alex Call. Hey, rookie. That one's stuck on bottom in there. And Vince Velasquez. All right. But like I'm slow rolling at least at least twice a blaster. That makes it fun. Matt Olson, Aaron Nola. Very rare to have a pack that has nothing in it. Usually one, maybe two in a box. That just kind of doesn't really have anything. Alright, we got us. Tandems here. Justin Verlander and Tom Seaver. Okay. And ooh, Carlos Vargas. I feel like I've hit that card before. All right. I think we still have two Halloween cards left. So far, nothing of note right now, which is interesting. Very interesting here. We're gonna get something in the uh, last last two packs here. Okay, and boom. Joey Ortiz. Ooh, Jack Lantern. Ah, give me an Adley or Gunner in that. Come on, come on. I think I think we saw the Halloween one left. No, nope, apparently not. Really parallels in this one. I don't know. This might be the weakest box I've opened. <laughs> uh, hey, at least we got it out of the way. It's out of the way, right? 
we got that one out of the way. All right. Hey, here's our, uh, we'll do a little recap here. Here's some of the good ones. Love those uh, jack o' lantern ones. Julio, Gold Cup, Judge. Acuna laid out, that's cool. Tanner Bybee, one of the big rookies, Mike Trout. All right, hits. Decent number of number parallels. All right, we got a blue Velasquez and a purple Jacob DeGrom. We've got blue bordered Matt Mervis. Whoops, little shiny there. Action Stars, Corbin Carroll. It's a nice card. All right, we've got Christopher Morrell, Halloween Orange. G Man Choi, 72 76, Independence Day. Nice. Nice. And then we got a couple of good parallel rookie parallels here Jordan Walker, Chrome, Corbin Carroll, Black Gold. And then probably the hit of the break, mainly because number 75, 51 of 75, Action Stars, Paul Goldschmidt. I still don't know why it's paralleled. <laughs> I don't know what the color difference is. I'll get that figured out. But All right, that's it for that break. Like I said, we're on the back half here. Still got all of these to open, so that'll be fun. So look for some more videos. Hope you enjoyed this one. We'll see you guys on the next video.